star anise poisoning. Its low cost, easy access and traditional knowledge, applications and forms of ministry keep it as a therapeutic alternative used by the population. Particularly mothers, regardless of socioeconomic status, have ever tisens their children for the treatment of various pains and disease. On this occasion I wish to warn mothers about how dangerous it is to star anise tea to children for the treatment of colic. Grandmothers call it the silver bullet as it applies not only for the treatment of colic but also to increase milk production in women who are breastfeeding and for rheumatism. However, it is important to note that there are two types of anise. Anise or baby in French China, Elysium Brum, and Japanese star anise or baby Anna Japan, Elysium religiosum, the latter with highly toxic compounds. I leave it written in the description. The problem arises when those who cultivate these plants mistakes a harmless species with toxic. Both species are very similar at first glance. It turns out that the Japanese baby Anna especially contains a compound called Shikimen as Ikimen are responsible for this poisoning. Treatment requires hospital care and symptomatic type and so far there is no specific antidote. If you are uncertain prepare an infusion with French anise, the innocuous, the correct preparation technique is as follows. Add a star anise to a cup of boiling water, 250 milliliters, cover, let stand 5 minutes and filter. The infusion should be taken after meals. Also keep in mind the age to provide appropriate doses, for example, in infants and children under 2 years, it's just a tablespoon of infusion, either directly or dissolved in a glass or a bottle with a little water. Recall that a tablespoon is equivalent to 10 milliliters. You can never exceed the dose. For children 2 to 6 years, the dose is increased to 4 tablespoons of the infusion, either directly or dissolved in a little water. With children 6 to 12 years, it can be a half cup of tea. In the case of adults is good cup of tea. Do not forget that the infusion must be consumed at the time, and if stored in refrigerator and must be no more than 12 hours, as it loses its properties and can deteriorate. The water should be freshly boiled or boil, but continue to boil with aniseed, to avoid concentrate substances. The maximum dose of the Chinese star anise or anise is 2 grams of fruit each day, as an infusion, eat 2 to 3 fruits in 250 milliliters of freshly boiled water. The use of most herbal teas are not recommended for newborns. If you doubt the kind of star anise tea that does not give our recommendation for the risk of it containing the toxic species is prepared. There have been cases, be very cautious. Likewise, the use of medicinal plants is delicate especially in children, it is recommended. Always be considered medicinal plants as medicines. Dosing recommendations should be followed. Avoid prolonged use. Consult with your doctor and ask for advice on specific issues. Being aware of the possibility of interactions between drugs and other medicinal plant. Buy only in approved centers. When adverse effects are noticed, discontinue use and consult your doctor or pharmacist. Do not use medicinal plants in vulnerable individuals, ag, infants, or pregnant or lactating without consultation. However, the Chinese star anise, contraindications for people with hypersensitivity to inethyl in patients with gastritis, gastric ulcers, irritable bowel syndrome, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, liver disease, epilepsy, Parkinson's or other diseases neurological. It is advisable to refrain from taking the essential oil of anise during pregnancy, lactation, and children under 6. If overdose a picture characterized by hyperarousal and convulsions, followed by depression of the central nervous system occurs. Poisoning can occur by frequent fake star anise, Elysium vrin by another species, Elysium religiosum or anise, which is abortion and pregnancy, and dangerous at the stage of lactation, the possibility of passing the breast milk to the infant and estrogenic compounds affect the baby. In general the use of anise is accepted only if no safer therapeutic alternatives. In countries like Spain, cases of infants were reported in neurological emergencies, with irritability, hyperarousal, vertical ocular nystagmus, hypertension, or facial myoclonus. By ingesting star anise infused for a short time. Poisoning cases also occurred in children between 7 days and 3 months of age with symptoms of continuous crying, irritability, hypertonia, shocks, atypical eye movements, cyanosis, and occasionally vomiting and feed refusal, after ingesting the star anise. For these reasons in this video I would not take even less star anise and give my children. Thanks for your attention, I wish this is helpful information. Rate the video a like given. That you will have a good day.